everybody, welcome to Live at Five. It's Friday, September the 9th. This is like the first Friday Live at Five in, in months. months. So thank you for joining us. Yes, and we have a great guest. Ryan Redmond's here, you guys. I might have just lost my, my voice cracked when I said that. Ryan Redmond is here. And a marvelous one dress. And from other fabulous things like If Then, you might know that, or uh, maybe you heard of Bring It On, colon, the musical. Uh, <laughs> she's here, and we're going to talk to her. But first, let's do the news. The news. So Ariana Grande was on The Tonight Show last night, and she had a very sweet moment talking about Hairspray Live. So have a look at her watch it on the site. She's so, she seems so adorable. She's genuinely she fangirling about the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, she's like, well, she's really, you know, a Broadway, Broadway kid baby. Yeah. who became a pop star randomly. Um, so, yeah, it's great. It's great. The full London cast of American in Paris has been announced. Jane Asher, who's a national treasure in Britain. It really? Yes. She's oh in it. Oh, my God, I don't hear Imogen say that so often. You would know. On site. I, do, I, I would know. <laughs> um, there's also casting for Terry Johnson's Dead Funny. That came out overnight uh, from the West End. Okay, so leading odds and ends today. There's always, it's always fun when you get to lead anything with a production shot of Adina and Kristen in Wicked. Well, because it gets traffic. Yeah. Is this about them reuniting for the film? No. No, that's not happening. No. They have, however, they've uh, they've just recently released uh, the vinyl. Well, it's the anniversary. So every, this, the anniversary is always, every year they do something special for the October anniversary. 30th, every year. Yeah. And so this year they're making a vinyl. I have a record player. I want to get this. years since uh, Wicked. And mm. you've got a good chance of getting it signed by both ladies. When? Well, you know, they're around Just for it. <laughs> when they show up. <laughs> well, Kristen's coming back to Broadway, and Adina's yes. got an album to promote. I feel like I'll see Kristen soon. I don't know about Adina. Hey, Adina, hey, hey, Adina. stop by. Whenever you want. Maybe Ryan Redman. Ryan Redman, can, maybe we can text you. Needs no, I'm not going to ask her. All right. Okay, fine. Um, all right. Uh, Lincoln Center, oh. apparently. This is big. This could be big. This could be big. There's this whole revival of My Fair Lady has been talked about for years, and currently you've got Colin Firth attached to lead it. Uh -huh. Are you into this Barcher, idea? Yes. Birth, yeah. I don't like any of the ideas mentioned so far for Eliza Doolittle. Interesting. Not Who one. Who was your them. dream, Eliza Doolittle? I would need to have a think, but it's going to be someone guess? British. No, it's going to be a Brit. Oh, oh, it has to be a Brit. You need so to be a 20 something Brit. Brit. Okay. You can do Cockney properly. I have a random question because mm. of you're a British girl of a certain age. Are you, are you a big Bridget Jones fan growing up? I'm a little bit younger than that. Because there's. Well, yes. I, yes, although I am younger than Bridget. Can we just point out, no, because everybody, Colin Firth I am younger it. than Bridget Jones, yes. I'm just saying. There was a whole thing maybe. of Pride and Prejudice and he was in that. Yes, I do have a look. And there's a new movie coming out. She has a baby, way. apparently. If that know. happens on Broadway with Lincoln Centre doing it, I would like to go and interview Colin Firth, please. Oh, yeah. Done. Fine. Documented Fine. here. Documented you can interview here. Colin Firth. All right. Because you're a big Bridget um, Jones fan. Okay. Uh, speaking of Hairspray, as we were earlier, if you live in Baltimore, you could be on Hairspray Live. How does like that one of the work? Dancers. Tell me how that works. There's a competition. It's all in Osnans. Go to Osnans. Go through the links. Um, and it's you. Yeah, you could actually be on Hairspray Live. Pretty December cool. Release. Because, Very of course, cool. it takes place in Baltimore. Yeah. I'm just pointing that out. Alex Brightman is MC, MCCing. MCing. MCC Broadway the salutes on September the 20th. And then we move on. Uh, that, that's a cool event. That's for, like, they honor people who've been in the industry for a very long yeah. time. It's like... All Decades. kinds of people, backstage people, front of house people, and actors. Anyway. That's happening in Shubert Alley, you can go along. Okay, um, Culturalist is up. Okay, wait, David wants to know, what about Emily Blunt as Eliza? Too old? Too old. Yeah, you said she's this morning 20, she's in her 20s. She's early 20s, Emily everybody. Blunt is fabulous, though. She is fabulous. And please come to Broadway, Don't Emily get me Blunt. wrong, don't get me wrong. And yeah. actually, better than everything else suggested so far. So okay, that's fine. okay. Imogen's slightly happy. Okay. It's what just else? when they try to do an English accent and they can't. And they never can unless they're Jake Gyllenhaal and he can't play Eliza Doolittle. <laughs> Maybe he could. He can do anything, apparently. Uh, culturalist. Which oh. diva should have a Broadway show about them? Because th this is inspired by what? The Cher musical? The Cher musical. And then there's a Donna Summer musical. Oh, right. Donna Summer musical. The Cher musical is being workshopped this afternoon. I know, and who was in it? Somebody so Ruthie Ann Miles tweeted that she was in it, and then deleted the tweet, <gasps> but we saw you, Ruthie. What? I didn't know she deleted it. Yeah, she deleted oh it. Oh my God. Cat's out of the bag, Ruthie. Cat's out of the bag. Oops. Anyway, Cher will probably tweet something later. I love Cher's It's the Anthony Weiner scandal of Broadway. Ruthie Ann Miles <laughs> tweeting about playing Cher. Sorry. Okay, Lessons Alive. The Lessons. Ryan McPhee's lessons. Go lessons read them. Lessons of the week. Go read them. Um, there are some hot shots coming up, I think. 
Um, That's very watch out. Cool. So Lindsay Sullivan has written this fantastic roundup of all system. Broadway stars. Um, yeah, in, there's so many coming uh, up on TV. On TV this fall. That goes live at midnight tonight. So have a look at that over the weekend. It's worth actually having a proper read of that because it's she's gone in depth and it's superb. So well Jeffrey, done, our friend Jeffrey wants to point out Julie Andrews was only 20 when what? she originated so the role. Jeffrey. As ever is correct, and I'm agreeing Jeffrey. with Jeffrey. We love we Jeffrey. We love you, Jeffrey. I mean, honestly, he's like the third member of Live at Five, isn't he? <laughs> totally. Totally. He's a co star. He's just come on someday. <laughs> all right, do we know. want to quickly talk about this character study that's blowing up in social uh, media all So day I day. spent some time with Jennifer DeNoia, the new Alphaba, who is lovely and has a little nine month old baby. And we did a character study, and she talked about sort of like playing. Well, here's what I love about it I talked about this before, but she started in the ensemble. Of Wicked in Chicago, and now she's playing Alphabet. That's awesome. And there's a great character study video. I know you guys love the character study videos, so go watch that. Go watch that. The MySpace with Shalina Kennedy of Beautiful, Beautiful. is going to be up soon. I think it's up And we there. also filmed some new episodes of Broadway Nosh, our cooking show with Kirsten Wyatt. And speaking of Wicked, we have an episode with Carrie St. Louis that is going up today. And they made something delicious. And I know because after the shoot, I brought the whole pan of it here to the office. And we all ate it. So if you want to know what happens to the food after Broadway Nosh. That's it, what happens. Yeah, it goes on. It goes all on wicked us. all the time. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. I'm off. All right. Ryan Redman, come on over here, girl. Oh, oh, oh Always looking good. Always fashion. We got lips. We got lips we got, just for you. I love it. I just ran into her on the street the other night. You did. Right? And it's hot, it's a, hot New an York. An 8th Avenue pass by. And you were coming from the theater. I was coming from the theater. From an American in Paris. Right. American in Paris. Did you enjoy it? Was it was beautiful. It was yeah. so gorgeous. I mean, the ballet. Are you like stunning. a romantic girl? Do you like seeing like romantic yeah. things like that? Yeah. And my friend Matt Scott is in it. He just joined. And he's right. so hilarious and amazing. And yeah, it was wonderful. Uh, okay. And now you're uh, you're back on, on the New York stage. Uh, you are in The Marvelous One Dress. Yes. Um, so tell me, this is like, this is sort of a show that's been around for a while. It gets done in a lot of places. It's a great yeah. girl power show, isn't it? Yes. So tell me about it. Who do you play? Ladies. I play Susie Simpson. Um, yeah, it's an amazing 50s, 60s jukebox musical with all of your favorite songs, like literally all of your favorite songs from those time periods. Like, so what's your favorite thing you get to sing in it? Oh my gosh, there's so much. I love doing Stupid Cupid, which I do in the first act, um, but I also get to do things like Respect and Rescue Me Wow. Um, yeah. Ari, yes, that, that respect. Yeah, Ari, uh, 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 yes. Yeah, that uh, one. Yeah. Wow. Aretha's. And what are the what are the other girl what are the other girls like? Tell me what's the what's it like backstage working with all girls like this? All girls. Tell me about the energy. It's great. I mean it's a super small cast, it's the smallest cast I've ever been a part of. There's, There's only four, four of us. Right. Yeah. And um but the ladies are super sweet. I just joined the company three weeks ago and um so two ladies that were already there, Sally Schwab and Jenna Lee Green. Yeah. Um, are super sweet. I've known Jenna for a little while. She's adorable and amazing. And Sally is the dance captain who taught me the show in a week. Oh my and God. she's a saint. Do you um, like the stress of learning something quick? Or does no. it freak you out? Did it freak no. you out? <laughs> no, but I, it was a lot of homework and a lot of like begging Sally to review things with me. And, really? Yeah, listening to recordings and just, you know, at home in my room drilling the harmonies because we sing 100% of the time. Oh my God. Yeah, two, oh my God. two hours and 15 minutes, I think the show is. Yeah. And then who's who else is new? Oh, oh right, right. Um, Meg Lanzarone is okay. he, is there now, and then okay. Christy Cates. Oh. If people love Wicked. Wicked. People Wicked. Love Wicked. <laughs> they do. They um, do love the Wicked. Yeah, she's joining us in uh, two weeks, I believe. Awesome. Yeah. What did you audition with? What did you have to sing at your audition? Um, I actually did an audition. This is what happens when you're Ryan Redman. <laughs> they go, Ryan Redman. Let's it, call Ryan. Let's call her. Wow, up. I saw the show, and they were like, Hey, would you like to come do this? Uh, I replaced Diana DeGarmo, who's amazing, and uh, I get she was leaving, and right. so they were like, Hey, Ryan, you want to come do this? And I was like, Yeah. That must be feel nice though, that you can just sort of get handed an off Broadway gag. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's not too shabby. David wants to know what's your Broadway dream role, male or female? Oh, okay. Let's think about this, because okay. you're a super talented girl. Thank you. First of all, I just want to, like, let's just go back for a minute. I went and saw Bring It On super early, and I was like, who's that girl? I'm obsessed with her. It's let's give her a video blog. And so yeah. you, you were like a, a vlogger. Yeah. I mean, there's been so many vloggers now, but you were like a pioneer. Yeah, Cheer Factor. I loved it. People cheer still factor. tell me to this day, they're like, I watch Cheer Factor all the time. It lives on. It go, lives watch, go watch all those episodes, people. See they're baby Ryan. Just yeah. being like, I love Broadway. It's okay, so Broadway dream role. Oh. Not about you. Uh, well, more, or more about you. Oh, uh, yeah, more about me. Um, 
I don't know. Well, like, if we want to be current, and I really want to play King George in Hamilton. Ooh. Yeah, since I, I, I wonder a if friend that, of I Lynn's, I guess. And, okay. I wonder if that'll ever go female. I mean, hey, a girl can dream. Yeah, I'm into um, that. But, it, like, yeah, I don't know. Also, I wanted to, to be Miss Lovett, like, down the line in the Sweeney Todd revival. Um, I really want to be Glinda in Wicked. Really? Yeah. I would I love that. so fun. I would love that. Yeah. I'm so into that. Yeah. Have you ever sang those songs? No, I mean, like, in At my home. car. In your car. <laughs> in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be your dream? You have a lot of friends in the industry. Yeah. Who would be your dream alphabet? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So people Like, someone who hasn't played it before? Uh, yeah. Let's, let's be adventurous. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> like there's somebody else that maybe should be doing... Uh, who would be my alphabet? Oh, God. Leah I have loves so Cheer many. Factor. Thanks, Yeah, Leah. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, oh, my gosh. I have so many... Amazing friends that would be amazing. But who would be alphabet. a fierce alphabet? I mean, only thing that's popping into my mind is Jackie Burns, but she's already done it. She's that's okay. my fave. That's like, okay. I love her. And Eden Espinosa. You can do like, it with Jackie. Could I, do, I would do like a different alphabet every night. Yeah. They'll just like pop okay. in. They're like, if they want to come all out right, and do the sure. show. If they're all game to <laughs> yeah. work, work, work their lives around you like that, that's fine. Uh, they I'm into all it. are absolutely game. <laughs> so, speaking of Jackie Burns, you were in If Then. Yes. And I know everyone watching, I'm sure, saw it of then, probably as many times as I saw it. And I, and I saw Adina, obviously, yeah. play, uh, what's her name? Liz, Beth, Liz, Beth, Liz, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth whatever. If and nasty. then I saw Jackie Burns. Yeah. And then I got a call, an emergency call one day saying, Jen Colella's on. And I ran to see yeah. Jen Colella go on. Oh my God, you saw everyone. It was so cool to see like all the different takes on the role. Um, you played, what was her name? Paulette. Girl. What? Paulette. Right, and Paula. the intern that asked. Yes, <laughs> and you had you had like two like great little nugget. Yeah, like you had two little great moments. Yeah, some yeah. fun little feature scenes. Was it a fun show to do? And what was that ensemble like? What was that cast like? It was true. I mean, like it's annoying, but like cliche. It was such a family. We were together most of us for almost three years because we wow. a lot of us started from the. I did the first workshop of If Then during Bring It On on Broadway. Wow. Okay. So yeah. yeah, so a while back and. Um, yeah, it's just a, such a good group, and I was so honored to be in the room with Broadway royalty. I was like, oh, my God, Dina Mazzell, LaShawn, Anthony Rapp, oh, my God. I was dying. And, and what was it like actually getting to know them it over was the amazing. run? They're all such cool people and so down to earth and just as human as we are, and they go grocery shopping just like <gasps> us. Thank I you. know. It's shocking. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone was so great. We became so close, and it's still such a family. We all get together all the time still, and... Even though Adina is away doing her amazing album, hopefully she's coming back. Being a blazing season. supernova. Yeah, like she um, is. Um, so, did you ever sing "Always Starting Over"? Have you ever sang that <gasps> song? I have. Have you? Yeah. Is it on YouTube or something? It is. I oh. sang. I, I I'm gonna go watch it immediately after <laughs> this. Roll clip. I think it's on YouTube. Um, you better be. I know. If not, I can get you the video. No, I work with this amazing foundation called Broadway Dreams Foundation. Oh and, yeah. Uh, we did a concert in Philly and. They were, they were announcing the Kimmel Center's season and If Then was coming. So I was like, I'm going to sing Always Starting Over because I'll never get to do this. Maybe you can play the role in the revival. Yeah, David Stone. I don't know. Why not? Coming at you. Mix it up. I'm into that. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite? Billy Joe, great name, yeah. wants to love Live at Five. Thank you, Billy Joe. And wants to know, what is, uh, Andrea has the clip of you singing. Uh, oh, Billy Joe good. wants to know, what's your favorite audience reaction moment? I don't know. Is there an answer to that? Oh my god. Like, like, um yeah. I mean I don't know, I feel like I talked about it before, but a lot of times Adina stopped the show and if then not a lot of times, but a few times, she would have like laugh attacks or like right. anything would like just t completely tickle her. And so that was <laughs> really thrilling to watch the audience just be so excited, like they were let in <laughs> on a secret. Um, that that character in Bring It On was so much fun. Like she yeah. was so much fun, right? I mean, that yeah. was like, so much fun to play. What's her name? Bridget. Bridget, of course. Yes. Cheer Factor. Check it out on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, that the audience. I feel like she kind of had the audience. Oh yeah, we had, a, we had we had we had some church lady moments definitely in Bring It On, <laughs> which was always exciting. Joe wants to know what was the musical that inspired you the most. Oh my gosh, growing that up maybe inspired me the most. Um, well, I mean, I, the first musical I did was Annie, so maybe, I, I basically tried to copy Andrea McArdle to learn how to sing. How was so. the way, how was the red wig? Was it, did you have like I a didn't wig? get the role of Annie. I, you guys, this, but this is Who amazing. Like, mistake? started from the bottom, now we're here. Like, I, I listened to the recording, and I was like, I got this. I, I'm going to be Annie, and I go in there, 
Castless is posted, and I am Mr. Bundles. Three lines. I've heard this sad story before, yeah. and it breaks my heart. But it's time. okay. Uh, no, but who made that mistake? That's not even a thing. <laughs> well, I, I'm pretty so. sure I was just like really loud and like had no concept of pitch back oh, then. So it was big, probably big voice. Yeah, just humongous. Not necessarily a good voice. Yeah. Big voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you have both. Yeah. Uh, Jack wants to know what's your uh, everything. Tell me your favorite story about something going wrong during a show. Oh gosh, something have they going been wrong. Have been going wrong at Marvel Marvel's yet? You just started. Oh, nothing. Did you screw up at all yet? Uh, oh, well, I've, I've like, had a few, like, slip-ups. Like, um, the other day, I, there, this, right before my big act one ender, they're, you, they're asking me who I'm in love with, and I've been, like, sort of telling the audience this whole time, I'm in love with Richie, I'm in love with Richie. And, um, some, and we, we've been talking about another character, Billy Ray, and I go, you guys know who it is. I'm in love with Billy Ray. I mean Richie. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funnier in the second half of the show because we find out that Billy oh, Ray right. is dating someone else. Right. So Susie's a floozy, apparently. Or Not she to be confused with show. Billy Joe, by the way, who's watching Live at Five asking questions. Billy Ray. Oh, Billy Ray. Sorry. Bi Billy different, Ray. Different, different person. Not Billy Joe. Uh, uh, which Skyler sister would you want to play? <gasps> Maria wants to know. I mean, I love me some Angelica. I don't know. They're all good. Eliza's got such amazing songs. I know. The so best does, songs. And Peggy is hilarious and yeah. gets to be fierce yeah. in the if, second half. If you got an audition, if somebody called you and said, right, you have an audition in 15 minutes, but Angelica, would you like know the song? Could you go in and like just oh, God. I mean, pull it I, off? Maybe. Close enough. Maybe, but a that, improvisation. it wouldn't happen. Yeah, well, and Lynn worked on Bring It On. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, there's a connection He's here. He's the best. You have, you're creating quite a web of, like, people you've worked with and know in this yeah, industry, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's all about who you know and being nice and kind It's all about and being nice, right? Work. You're always nice, by the way. Thanks. Absolutely. Roberta wants hot. to know, where are you both from? I'm not going to answer because nobody cares. They but where care? are you from? You're from Georgia, aren't you? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Actually, coming Georgia, if people are getting specific. Okay. I'm actually going to Atlanta for the first time on Wednesday. See the prom? Do, what? Are you going to see the prom? Oh, the prom. Yeah, yeah. I actually said DePaul. Oh, it's like, DePaul. Like a restaurant I'm supposed to go to. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see, see the prom. prom. That's so exciting. Yes. Uh, yeah, is, 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 am I going to have fun? Is Atlanta nice? Is it, it's super nice. It's yeah. the, the Alliance Theater is great. Is there anything great. I should do? Or? Oh, gosh. Anything you should do? I don't know. I'm just asking. How long are you there? Because you're here and I have a question. Yeah. I'm there for like eight hours. <laughs> I mean, there's really good shopping malls. There's like mm. Zips Plaza. Okay, I'll look for the mall. Downtown. I'll have time for the mall. Yeah, the mall's good. It's right. a good mall. I love a mall. I always miss a mall. Yeah, in New York, we don't really have them. Have you been to the new one? I went last night. What? At Where? World Trade Center? No. It's called the Oculus. Oh, have dangerous. you heard about this? This is dangerous. You have to go. It's crazy. I mean, oh, it's the very, it's a high end mall, you know. But you have to go just, but there's an eater, uh, Italy. Oh. Okay. You know, Italy? Yeah. Anyway, you just have to go. Everyone, just okay. a little tourist tip. Uh, head on down to <laughs> World Trade Center and check out the awesome new mall. I went last night. Anyway, you brought up malls. Yeah. Um, so that's where she's from, Georgia. I'm from Connecticut. Yes. Anyway, thank Next you for asking. Event. And Alex, we, what, you, what was it like working with Adina Menzel? We already went through that. Thrilling. Um, uh, as Joseph said, you're going to be popular. You're going to be popular. Okay, yes. I guess when you go on. Uh, dog, cat, or neither? This is the most important okay. question, and we'll leave people with this one. 125 million percent dog. Thank you. Do you have a dog? I don't. I, I feel like I would neglect it here. I, well, I don't know. I just, I like really big dogs, and um, I don't want to, you know, yeah. trap it in a New York City apartment. Yeah, don't do but that. But I love puppies. Okay, don't I don't want do a that. bulldog so badly. So uh, everyone should come see Marvel's Wonderettes. Yes. What, what theaters are playing at? We are at Theater Row at the Kirk Theater. Two shows on Wednesday, one show Thursday night, and Sunday matinee. That's the schedule. Yeah. Was it Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday? Two Wednesday. Two Wednesday. One Thursday. Thursday. One Sunday, Sunday matinee. So that's a nice schedule. It's because you get to go see an American Paris and other things, and you can go to the mall. Yeah. You totally do have time to go to the mall. I have plenty of time to go to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, can people say hi afterwards? Yeah. Yeah. Just awesome. Hang it's hang a nice out theater, out. theater row. It's very yeah, clean it's and theater. modern yeah. and air conditioned. It's good. Yeah, it's so it's everybody, go check there. out. Huh? It's a gigantic there, so I'm, yeah. I, I'm a repeat customer. It's wonderful. We like theater up. And there's a lot of harmonies happening. There's so many harmonies like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back on Monday for more Live at 5. Bye! Bye.